Okay. Once you've gone ahead and checked out the settings on your Xbox One to make sure that the Play 2 um, option was enabled and checked, we're going to do everything from the Windows 10 device. So you want to also make sure that the Xbox One and the Windows 10 device are on the same exact Wi-Fi network. So once you've done those things, you're just going to go ahead and make sure that the Xbox One is connected under connected devices to the Windows 10 device. So in order to do that, you're going to go to your settings, all settings, and under your devices options, you're going to go to your connected devices and we're going to, I have mine already connected. I'm actually going to remove it to go through the process with you guys here. So basically, as long as they're on the same Wi-Fi network, you're going to click on add device. It'll search. Once it's done searching, you're going to select it and it'll start to connect automatically to your Windows 10. You're going to give it a few seconds to connect. And you see there it's starting to load. All right. So we have it connected. So from here, you want to go to wherever the root folder is um, that you have your music. So I have mine, you know, my file explorer under music. And basically, what you want to do is I make sure I get my TV in the frame. What you're going to do is you're just going to highlight whatever song or album that you want to cast to your Xbox One and you're going to right click. Once you right click, so I'm going to select the whole album. You're going to go to cast device and from cast device, you're going to do Xbox system OS. So you see it says casting device and it instantly changes on the Xbox and it starts playing right away. You can see that the timer is going down, it gets, has the album art work. Everything is good to go on your Xbox One. You can go ahead and play a new song. You can pause, play previous and I'm not going to play for too long obviously for copyright infringement you can choose you know a song there and that's pretty much that so and you see under default defaulted devices the Xbox now goes to play device let me just uh, pause that. And you can go ahead and continue to add songs onto here, like a queue, or you can continue to add albums onto here. You just do exactly what I said. You go to whatever song you want to add or whatever album you want to add. You're going to right click, cast to device, choose your Xbox, and then it'll automatically, um, you know, add it on here. I'm not even sure if you can move it up. Yep. You can actually move it up in the playing order that you want. See, I just moved it down. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can continue to use your device as is, normal with no issues. And that's how you quickly cast music from your Windows 10 device to your Xbox One without having to use Groove Music, without having to move it towards your OneDrive cloud storage, you know, if you have something like, for instance, I use Spotify all the time. So with using Spotify, um, I'm going to play that, but I muted it. But with using Spotify all the time, you know, Adele's album just came out and I went ahead and purchased it and I don't have it on Spotify, but I wanted to listen to it on my home theater system. So I purchased it and I just basically have it on my computer and I did this option to stream it to my Xbox while I listened to it on my home theater system. And I decided to make a video because it seemed, for me, I was having a really hard time 
have you know like figuring out how to cast the music on your computer without going through all of those different options of OneDrive and um, uh, Groove Music and all of that stuff. I just wanted something quick, simple to the point, and this is exactly what I was looking for. So I figured if I was having a hard time, other people might have. So hopefully I helped you out on figuring this out. If I did, you know, please like, leave me a comment. If you have any questions, any comments, you know, I'll definitely try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Um, and to my understanding, the setting is, is exactly the, the same for how to stream videos from your computer to your Xbox One. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and test it out with one of my home videos. And if everything works out, then I'll make another video and I'll probably put a link in the description for that one on how to cast your own videos to your Xbox One wirelessly. Alright guys, I'm out.